the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Let me share with you a little story. We're rounding up. Years ago, I went to a bank to collect loan. Now, bankers, I love you with all my heart. In the name of Jesus, may you go from glory to glory. Now, watch this. In all fairness, after wasting my time, traveled to Lagos, came back. I won't tell you how much. The man now insulted me and said, you think we just dole out money like that? When he made those statements, I stood and I looked at him. And I knew that it was not his fault. Because what is on you is what controls what is around you. And I shook him. I said, no problem. A few years later, I'm in the office of the group general manager of that bank. And I'm sitting down and we're talking and he said, Apostle, it's an honor for you to be seated here. I said, sir, let me tell you a little story. Some years ago, I met one of your staff. Now the bank is closed. And I said, this is what he did. And we're laughing. He said, Apostle, you are bigger than that. And I said, is it not because God helped me? There are doors that your yesterday's grace could not open. But watch to see what comes upon you tonight. You will not even have to knock. The Bible says as Peter was being led by the angel, the doors were being opened on their own. There are graces that can open doors. He has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Please be patient with me. We are rounding up. Watch this. Seated in this place right now, hearing me inside and outside, are people who love the Lord with all their hearts upon the plateau. But could it be that the explanation to the missing dimensions of the Christ in your life, it may be an absence of a particular dimension of grace. Or you need a multiplication of the grace you already have. Because the anointing works like money. If they say everybody who has money stand, you will stand with your 10,000. Aliko Dangote will stand with what he has. The demand placed on the money is what will show the difference. Are we together? Every challenge is at the mercy of the grace that confronts it. There are graces mandated to trivialize what you call a problem. It will trivialize it and you will not even know. There was an anointing on Reinhard Bonke. People called him an evangelist. Please help that person. Now listen. A man that comes to preach in a territory and somebody who did not attend the crusade carries his charm to submit it. Is that an evangelist? Graces. The Bible is full of anointings and mantles. Please let me your attention. No grace and no anointing leaves the earth. No. Every grace you read in this Bible is still in the earth. It's the dishonor of the saints that has closed them out. You know, years ago, I, I didn't used to operate strongly in the prophetic. But I was watching a video of William Branham. And while I was watching that video, I had an encounter. And light came out 
from the video was from my laptop and just rested upon my head and then it started going down in my body for more than 30 minutes I felt so weak I was shaking I just went to sleep and by the next time I would get up the dimension of the prophetic in my life changed listen every challenge that's why when you go to God in prayer he will tell you your problem has been solved he's not lying what he's saying is scattered across the body of Christ is a grace that your problem has been tied to. Find it. Through hunger and honor, find it. Are we together? Yes. There is a grace. This prosperity thing you see that looks like it's a difficult thing. It's good to be valuable and to be productive. But let me submit to you, there are graces that will speak once over your life and tear open your financial heavens in a way that will surprise you. It is true. You must become like a spiritual archaeologist, searching with hunger for the graces that make for your efficiency as far as your assignment is concerned. And when God grants through the sacrifice of alignment vessels who have paid the price to convert these graces together, then you receive them with hunger. This is what is about to happen here. I prayed in a meeting and I prayed over a man in a particular church. And by the next day, he got a contract of 100 billion. When the pastor announced it, people didn't clap. Because I probably wouldn't have believed it until I saw the man. And he came to me. He said, I'm already a blessed man. But this is a dimension. Ah, the realm of the spirit. If you can manipulate realities from the realm of the spirit, you will watch life like a chess. This is what is about to change in your life. You come for meetings like this so that a climate be programmed over you. Hallelujah. Yes, sir. Listen, truly speaking, I wish I were not the one saying it. There are people called to shift cities and territories. There are graces given to people. When God wants to bless Israel, he finds Jacob and puts that grace on Jacob for the sake of Israel. This is why God brought this solemn assembly to shift us to dimensions untold. But we must be discerning and not be like Jacob. 2004. I was in this very city when Red Hat Bonke came. I was in the field. I traveled from Kaduna State and I came and I stood for six hours. I was already a man of God. But I was hungry for a grace that was upon that man. Because you don't receive from a colleague. We are all men of God. You will sit down there and pride will kill you there. I didn't go to the, the field as a man of God. You've heard me humorously saying it. A pregnant woman was standing close to me. And later on, she'll say, please, I shall allow her to lean on me. So at a point, I said, madam, I'm not responsible for this child. What is that? I mean, I came with hunger to, hope, to receive. You are now weakening me with your own. I mean, where is your husband? He would have come. <laughs> I'm joking. I, I wasn't that harsh. But I, I'm saying I was determined. When her bonke finished preaching a simple message, and you know, for us that God has committed the grace for revelation a bit, we can be very arrogant. Because I mean, say, what are all these simple things? I'm not even hearing. He finished a simple story. Remember, I'm the one who wants to receive. He was drinking water so that he would minister the baptism. And suddenly my eyes were opened. That was the first visionary experience of the person of the Holy Spirit. I saw a bird that was bigger than this auditorium. Hovering around the entire ground. I thought everyone was seeing it. My hunger had reached the heavens. 
I knew my destiny needed that kind of grace. That woman in green, I'm seeing an angel pour something like oil on her. That mama, that's what I'm seeing now as I'm just talking. I'm seeing that woman. In the name of Jesus, the woman is going to begin to have strange dreams. It's a prophetic grace that God is birthing over her. I release that grace upon you right now. Help her please. In the name of Jesus Christ. And the one at her back. I'm seeing oil being poured at a lady at her back. Please follow me. We're about to pray. When I saw that visionary encounter. Then the spirit of the Lord took me sir. To Genesis chapter 1 verse 2. There was darkness. And the spirit of God hovered around the face of the deep. And the spirit of God spoke to me. That the union of the spoken word and the movement of the spirit is what bets the miraculous. I saw it. When I came back from that vision, I was back in the stage. And I rejoiced. I said, I've gotten it. You know, Elijah said, if you can, Elijah said, if you can see me, was he not looking at him? There is a seeing that you look with hunger. Hallelujah. Every time I read God's generals, it was as if I was reading about my colleagues, my families. I started searching for people on earth that were carrying the graces and the mantles of the generals. And I bless God I've been able to meet a few of them. And one of them that I met told me, I said, tell me what Smith Wigglesworth said before he died. And he said, Smith Wigglesworth told Lester Sumrall, he said, do not die with this anointing. He said, when you are old, find young men. Because there is a revival coming. He said, find young men. Mantles are falling here tonight. Anointings are falling here tonight. Graces are falling here tonight. For the kings to be born. For revival to return, for the kings to be born, for revival to return. Yeah, Hali Hali Yo, Hali Yo, Hali Yo, Hali Hali Yo. And then, when I received that impartation, watch this. The hallmark of my encounters was when my hunger had reached the heavens. Then the Lord Jesus appears to me. When the Lord Jesus Christ appeared to me, I was like a dead man on the ground. The, do you know? Hmm, let me tell you the truth. Well, many people say they have seen Jesus. I don't have a right to contend with them. But if it's the Jesus I see that you see, it will take more than one year for you to recover. It has nothing to do with whether you have faith or not. How he entered my room, I cannot tell. The splendor, the majesty. He was not on the ground. Whether he was in the air, I do not know. I was like a speck of dust. He was not talking to me, but he was speaking to me. That was when I learned in the realm of the spirit that you do not have to talk to speak. Light is a language. The light, he stretched his hands towards me. Watch this. And a light left him. You've heard me say how I did not die. It's a mystery that only him can explain. When that encounter finished, he left. A straight line came from Genesis to Revelation. I started understanding mysteries I never studied. What is the meaning of this? What is happening to me? In one of the encounters that I would have in the later years, the Lord looked at me and he said, My son, from today, I give you my presence as a gift. And then I saw this angel standing close to me. And I said, who is this? And he said, he will walk with you and follow you in all your meetings. He said, he is called the angel of the Lord's presence. We are not much, 
except for the spiritual possibilities that we carry. Hallelujah. And the last instruction the Lord would give me, please listen. He said, every meeting I will allow you go to, in that meeting, there must be a few people, the light that came from me to you, you must allow to come to them. And I have not failed. Help them, please. This, listen. Please take it high for me, David. I want to be sensitive. This is what is responsible for some of these manifestations you see. It's an equipping of the spirit. It's a grace for a generation. It's not for a church. It's not for a city. Tonight, by the love and the relationship of your dear man of God, the Lord has granted me the grace to come join in my faith with all the servants of God here. Please listen to me. If you can humble yourself and look to Jesus in a man, not just a man, let me tell you, you will receive something tonight that will turn your life around in a way that will shock you. Because there are people in ministry, the deficiency is these graces. You see, the apostolic grace is not for church. The apostolic grace is for spiritual governance. It is our assignment under God to define the coordinates of the program of God as given to a dispensation. And so our assignment is to come into a territory and through the sacrifice of alignment, find out the precepts of the spirit allocated for a generation and the graces that should come with those thoughts and to supply them if deficient. So when he sends us, he sends us with all the backing and the equipping that can make, that can build, that can release. This is my final session with us. We are going to pray. And please, I plead that you spare me a few minutes. Let something from heaven that will be worth your sacrifice in this conference come upon your life and turn you into another man there are men and women of god here you must carry graces that will speak the purposes of god upon the plateau there are business people here you must carry anointings in one minute wherever you are please lift up a cry before the god of heaven lord is my season i come with my heart open if someone pray is praying for a new dimension oh God my ministry must change outside make sure you are praying my family must change my political career must change God has spoken to you about your political destiny it's more than joining a party it's more than having political allies there is a grace that keeps men in their destiny Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We minister 
as privileged stewards of the mystery we minister as those who have been granted grace and mercy from God I see a lot of angels in this place I'm seeing written in the air restoration that anointing is coming on people now please bring them out right now there is a grace people who have lost things lost time please help us let's be very fast I declare let that grace right now the grace that restores and I will restore to you take that grace now Please bring them out very quickly and prophesy restoration right now restoration you've lost things help that lady please whether you are an usher or not please help whoever is close to you so they don't enjoy themselves i minister restoration by the spirit of god that here at this fire conference you will know that you encountered the grace that restores I prophesy restoration opportunities restoration relationships I want to release the grace for speed there is a real grace for speed please hear me as I pray this grace the hand of God will come upon people and they will start running physically i want you to help them so they don't enjoy themselves right now i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood joss plateau state hear me i declare in the name of jesus receive the grace for speed take that grace now speed in your destiny speed in ministry i declare speed speed 10 years in one year 10 years in one year by the spirit of the living God have you heard this proverb that in one day a nation is born he said but as soon as Zion travails she shall put forth a son I prophesy speed speed in the name of Jesus now please look up let me have your attention the Lord is showing me an eagle and every time I see an eagle it's a representation of the prophetic grace there are people here who are going to drink of this wine many men of God many women of God right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three May the eye of the eagle, the eye that sees, and the ear that hears, let it rest upon you. One, two, three. Take that grace. I activate the prophetic. I activate the prophetic. I activate the prophetic. This is that. Let there be a rain of the eyes that see. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Kim. Hello, Kim Madonna. Hello, Kim. Hello, Kim Madonna. The Lord is showing me a lot of women ministries that will be better from this conference and there are people that anointing is coming on right now where are the daughters of Deborah I stretch my hands from the left to the right I declare by the Spirit of God let the mantle that will bear those ministries be released upon you now 
in the name of Jesus be released upon you now in the name of Jesus be released upon you now in the name of Jesus hallelujah there is a grace that establishes a man fast I need to pray that grace because this grace is deficient in the middle belt that the grace that establishes people fast is not there we must trust God for the grace in the name that is above all names I decree and declare standing in partnership with all the graces here I declare over plateau state over just the grace that stabilizes a man quick take that grace now receive that grace now if you are trusting God for healing any part of your body our time is gone I may not be able to prophesy and speak to people tomorrow is a night of prophecy so you can come with your heart open and the man of God is going to be speaking God's counsel but you are trusting God for healing I want you to lay your hands anywhere you are trusting God for now we may not have the time to take testimonies I'm sure that it can be done in later sessions but I want to pray for you Just right where you are, place your hand there. Place your hand right where you are. Now, please listen. The healing anointing is strong. There are two ladies that are going to shout a very loud shout to the hearing of everybody. Hallelujah. Okay. A very loud shout. That's what the Spirit of God is telling me. I'm ready to pray now. Please, I'd like you to agree with me and say amen. In the name of Jesus. Mm. My God, the healing anointing is touching people. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The power of God is touching this woman. I'm seeing an anointing right now as I'm speaking. Something is coming out of your stomach, mama. Let it go now. Help the woman. I command every devil of infirmity plaguing anyone and any family here be gone now in Jesus' name. Be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Be gone in the name of Jesus Christ. Now I decree and declare. Be healed in the name of Jesus. From the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Be healed in the name of Jesus. I command blind eyes to be opened now. In the name of Jesus. I command deaf ears to be opened now. In the name of Jesus every blood condition I bring it under judgment now the Lord is healing peptic ulcer I declare be healed now in Jesus name I'm seeing a severe case of migraine headache in the name of Jesus be healed right now the Lord is showing me a number of ladies with all kinds of malignant growths around your abdominal region the power of God is coming upon you now and the Lord is bringing you healing. Please help them. The power of God is coming upon you now. I command that devil to come out of your body now. S-S-A-S We change your genotype now. Please help them. We change your genotype now.
heaviness in your body. You feel as if you are carrying several people on you. I declare be healed right now. Any spirit associated with your condition, I cast that spirit out of you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Glaucoma, be healed now in the name of Jesus. Peptic ulcer, be healed now in the name of Jesus. Cancer, be healed now in the name of Jesus. Sugar diabetes, be healed now in the name of Jesus. High blood pressure, be healed now in the name of Jesus. Now, whether or not I mention your condition, in the name of Jesus Christ, be healed now. Be healed completely. Every door that has been closed over you, I stand in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, and I speak to that door. Ephata, be opened now. Be opened now. Doors of employment. Be open now. Doors of ministry. Be open now. Doors of fruitfulness. Be open now. If there is any family here where the spirit of death is upon them, that as you are entering 2020, it will be survived by, I stand by the God of heaven and I cancel the spirit of death now. I pray for every politician here and everyone who is in government the grace to legislate in righteousness and truth may that grace rest upon all our politicians in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for every student here the grace to excel and the grace to finish strong receive that grace right now all those who have written jam, jam, jam and doors refuse to open. We open that door here now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And all those in final year, in any institution, I release upon you the finisher's anointing. Grace to finish with honor. Can I pray over our finances? Believe in the Lord your God, so shall you be established. He says, believe in his prophet, so shall you prosper. I stand by the God of heaven, the one who is the helper of all men. And I speak over your finances. Between now and March 2020, I speak by the God of heaven. And as touching the grace that he has given, I shift you into a fearful dimension of wealth. A dimension of financial grace. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Let me pray over your spiritual life. We're rounding up. If all you have is money and influence and your spiritual life goes down, you have failed woefully. I need to pray. There are altars that need fire to come back again. That your prayer life has gone down. You can't remember the last time you spent time with God. No prayer. I pray for you. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like a candle. Light me, Lord. 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 The spirit of prayer and intercession in the name that is above all names I'm praying now may that grace rest upon you now fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar every complacency in the area of prayer let it leave you now in the name of Jesus I pray for your word study life 
the appetite for the word of God, the grace to sit down and learn at his feet, may that grace come upon you now. I pray for every family represented here, whether your loved ones are here or not, may the angel of the Lord's presence go down to every home and begin to correct anomalies in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray for every church and every man of God that has come to stand by God's servant and support this program. In the name of Jesus, may your assembly step into another dimension of grace. Let me pray for the workers in this church. The Bible says a worker is deserving of his wages. I pray for everyone who serves the purposes of God within this church. In the name of Jesus, go from glory to glory. Go from grace to grace. In the name of Jesus. Now let's speak over Plateau State. Plateau, hear the word of the Lord. We are speaking to the soul of the city. I command the two lift gates of this city to be closed over terrorism. From the north to the south, the east and the west. I command the earth and the elements of the supernatural within this city to fight any terrorists that will want to disrupt peace. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let the spirit that makes for bloodshed, the spirit that makes for death and the sound of languishing as it was in Ramah, I declare that that spirit is banished from this city. I declare wisdom to the government of this state. Right from the governor to his cabinet to everyone who is a member of parliament. The wisdom to decree with righteousness and justice let it be given to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I declare that the sound of poverty, the sound of mediocrity, the sound of wasted destinies will no longer be heard in the plateau. In the name of Jesus. And finally, for everyone who is part of this great conference, inside, outside, and those following online, I stand in agreement with the grace upon your man of God and all the graces that are here. And I decree and declare, go forward. Advance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Can you spare me two minutes to make an altar call? I will not want to go and sit down without making an altar call. There's no point wasting time. There are people here who are saying, Apostle, if you will give me an opportunity, I want to make my ways right with Jesus. There are others who have never made a genuine commitment. Others are saying, I love Jesus, but here and there, I've just found my life go haywire. Please, you don't have to match those who are under the anointing, but whether you are outside or inside, I'm going to count five. I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain and come and stand here. Let's celebrate them as they come. One. Don't wait for anyone to be the first. You be the first. Come and stand very proudly. Are there people coming? Global Flames, is this how you celebrate salvation? Two. If you're coming, I want you to run and stand. Run to Jesus. Win that war. Three. Please allow those who are coming from outside. Quickly come and stand. Genuinely and sincerely. Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. Join them. Four. Quickly, please. Keep clapping. Let's encourage them. Withholding nothing Withholding nothing We're withholding nothing Withholding nothing Praise the Lord
we have everyone here already? Those coming from outside, please make way for them so they arrive here on time. I salute every one of you. Some of you are crying. There's no point being ashamed of your tears. I'd like you to lift your right hand high above your head. And I'd like you to say this after me. You're not reciting a poem. Let it be from the depth of your heart in spirit and truth. Say after me, Lord Jesus. One more time, say, Lord Jesus. I believe in you. That you are the son of God. Tonight, I have heard your word. And I want you to be revealed in and through me. Therefore, I declare that Jesus is Lord, is Savior, and King over my life. Tonight, I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I reign in life. I declare that my sins are forgiven and I have the life of God. From today, I go forward ever and backward never. Amen and amen. Keep the hands lifted. Jesus, we present to you the ones you died for. Thank you because this is the beginning of a new dimension. I stretch my hands towards all of you and I declare that the grace that keeps, let it come upon you. In the name of Jesus, according to the authority of scripture, I declare your sins forgiven and I declare that a new beginning starts for you from today. The grace to walk in victory, let it be given to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, eternal life is yours from now. I introduce you to the ministry of the Holy Spirit. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you will know him and you will walk with him. And he will cause you to become a wonder. In Jesus name. Amen and amen. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.